Hi, I'm Shayna, and I'm the author of The Cat and the Lion, and thank you for joining me for Read to Me ASAP. Before we get started, take a look at the back of the book, these beautiful mosquitoes. I want to see how many you can count as we read the story, so keep your eyes open, and I'll ask you how many you spotted at the end. There once lived a little kitten with black and gray stripes and eyes as cute as buttons. He was separated from his family during a big, scary storm. And so he wandered the streets of New Orleans searching for a home. The kitten ate scraps that fell from the tourist's hands. He ate crumbs from a shrimp po' boy here and pieces of crawfish there. Each night, he lay beneath a staircase as the sounds of jazz and blues lullabied him to sleep. He thought of his mom and siblings who had taken good care of him and always made him feel at home. He dreamed of how happy he would be living in a nice house with a caring family again. Days went by and the poor kitten began to lose faith that he would ever find a place to call home. Still, he got up every morning to continue his quest. One morning, a delicious scent filled the air. The smell of beignets, pralines, ooey gooey cakes, seafood, gumbo, yakamine, jambalaya, muffaladas, and a fresh crawfish boil tickled his nose. Without a second thought, he followed the trail. He stopped at an orange shotgun house with a red rooftop in a neighborhood called Treme. Three big steps led to the porch where a large wooden door stood open. The kitten saw the old woman peering through the window. She had beaded charms on her wrist and around her neck. On her head sat a bright, colorful head wrap. Her name was Mama, and she was a very wise woman. She lived there with her daughter, Pi, her two grandchildren, Pi Jr. and Tui, and their father, Rock. Mama spotted the kitten standing at the bottom of her porch. A little starving kitten wandering all alone must be looking for a home, she thought to herself. Mama quietly placed a bowl of milk for him on the porch. The kitten was scared but very hungry, so he nervously jumped up the first big step. Pie Jr. appeared at the window and watched the kitten with excitement. There were two more steps before the kitten could reach the bowl. Just as the kitten mustered the courage to reach for the next step, Tui joined Pi Jr. at the window and screamed, A kitten! The cat ran away. Oh, now where did it go? asked Tui. Mama told him that the kitten would be back and warned Tui to be very quiet next time. The next morning, Mama placed a fresh bowl of milk on the porch. Next to the bowl, she placed an old stuffed animal lion. Pi Jr. had caught the lion at last year's Zulu parade. Later that day, the kitten returned to the house. To his surprise, a fresh bowl of milk was on the porch. The kitten noticed the lion. He, he wasn't there before, but he, he must be brave enough to be on the porch, thought the kitten. The lion was a beautiful golden brown color with hair like cotton and eyes as big as buttons. Mama had faith that the lion would give the kitten the courage needed to take the next step. 
Was it the lion's size that made him brave? Or his beautiful fur that made him bold? Fear was holding the kitten back from what he wanted. And as he looked into the lion's eyes, he realized that courage was inside. All the kitten needed to do was take the next step. As he reached the first step, his hunger grew. He slowly moved to the second. One by one, he placed his paws on the last step. He finally made it to the top. He went straight to the bowl of milk. The kitten thanked the lion for showing him how to be brave. This was only the beginning of their friendship. The kitten pretended that he and the lion went on great adventures. One day they were explorers cruising down the Mississippi River. The next day they were in the street with the Mardi Gras Indians big chief. They parade down the block for the second line, then stop by Congo Square while people dance to the rhythm of the beat. The kitten and the lion always use their courage no matter where they went. The season began to change and Mama felt a big storm coming. What will the kitten do when the storm comes, Mama? Tui asked. Mama knew the kitten needed to come in the house, so she built an opening at the bottom of the front door. The kitten would enter when he was ready. The next day, a great cloud came over the city. The kitten was afraid. As the rain started to pour, the kitten ran to the lion. The kitten was cold and wet. He wanted to go inside the house, but he didn't want to leave his friend. The kitten was afraid to take the next step. He thought of all the times he used his courage, the same courage it took for him to meet the lion and go on all of their adventures. In that moment, the kitten took all the courage he had to pull the lion by his mane and drag him through the door. Mama slowly swept the kitten up with a warm towel and pulled the lion aside. The cat and the lion waited with the family for the storm to pass. After the storm, Mama took the kitten to the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals for a bath and his shots. Then the kitten returned to his new loving family. We'll call him Oba. It means king, Mama said. With courage, the kitten had found his new home. Mama took the lion on her float at that year's Zulu parade. The lion had helped the kitten find his courage and it was time for him to bless someone else. Les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll. The end. That's the end of the story for today, but I wanna know what makes you brave? How do you use your courage? Share your answers with me at the Cat and the Lion book on Instagram, and you can follow us for updates and book giveaways. You can also visit thecatandthelion.com and download a free coloring page. Thank you so much for joining me again for Read to Me ASAP.